Black Street TV viewers. We are here at Digital Hollywood with Mr. Blair Underwood, who is an actor, uh, an activist, and an author. So we're here to discuss some of the things, the great things that he has going on. Now, Blair, can you talk to us a little bit about your involvement with the AIDS Awareness and the uh, AIDS Healthcare Foundation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I start? Well, I start, I'm start. i with, uh, as you mentioned, AHF, AIDS Healthcare Foundation, and they're an organization. They are the, the largest nonprofit for HIV and AIDS. Uh, awareness in the world, really a billion dollar nonprofit. Um, and my involvement with them basically is to start having more of a conversation outside, uh, just a broad conversation about where HIV is and where AIDS is, specifically in the African American community, African American community and the Latino community. Uh, when you start looking at the statistics, I learned recently that the, the, the uh, number one cause of death for black women aged 25 to 34 is HIV and AIDS. That's not a part of our narrative. Nobody's really discussing that as much as we need to. I tell you what's encouraging though, just a week and a half ago, uh, President Obama and his administration announced a five-year initiative to start addressing just what we're talking about. So, well, I tell you, honestly, the, the gay community has done a phenomenal job at educating their community. The heterosexual community, not so much. So that's my charge, my mission for, for, for people who are not having this conversation to start talking about it because it's affecting too many people and it's killing too many people. My initial involvement uh, just in the awareness of AIDS and HIV came from and through my work with South Africa through an organization called Artists for a New South Africa, ANSA. I've been seeing your, some billboards around and I looked online and saw some more of the bill. I saw a billboard before and then I went online and saw even more billboards. You guys got this going on. So, uh, Man Up, the slogan on the billboard, which I love, you know, because I really think it speaks to the, putting the onus back on us to take personal responsibility. So is that is that is that an is that one of the initiatives or was that the goal of the slogan? That is the primary initiative. I mean, it's twofold. The fact that it's it's more of a colloquialism. It's not like show personal responsibility. It's just like nah. It's like two brothers talking or two people talking. It doesn't matter what what uh, socioeconomic background you come from, what race you come from, what your sexual preference is, is whatever. It's like be a man, man up. It takes personal responsibility for checking your health because it affects your wife, affects your girlfriend, affects your children, affects your family. Um, so yeah, so it's all about personal response. And spoken in the language that anybody could really understand. Like, man, everybody know, man, man up, man up, seriously. Man up, do the right thing, do what you're supposed to do. Are you on things like Twitter? Are you on, like, we catch you on MySpace, Facebook, what's up? I am, but you know what? What we're trying to do is look at the, the big picture. And we, you and I were just talking about, you know, I know Oprah launched on Twitter and she was hitting it hard the first couple of days and then it fell off. It's hard to sustain that. So from the outset, we launched March 15th. So around a month, month and a half, almost not even two months yet. Um, and, it, and it's been phenomenal. Um, but, what we, you know, I specifically got into this to speak of certain causes that I'm interested in and I'm passionate about. First and foremost, um, AIDS and AIDS awareness. And, and doing the work I'm doing with AHF right now. First and foremost, it is, for instance, my Facebook page is a so-called fan page. I never liked the word fan. It comes from the word, it's derived from fanatical. So, you know, these are, they're my friends, but it's officially a fan page. It's an appreciation page. It's an, an appreciation of page. I like that. I like, can I steal that? It's an appreciation page. Anthony Edom came up with the appreciation page. Yeah, but, but, I, but I, I, do, I do think that there should be certain boundaries. So, I mean, I don't discuss my, you know, I have, wife, I have a wife and three kids. I don't discuss my family. I don't have pictures of them. You know, that's, that's, that's personal. But in terms of the work I do as an actor and the causes I'm uh, passionate and interested in, um, if, you, if you can bring awareness to that and you can do good for somebody and you can use your celebrity to, to do so, that is the primary objective. That is absolutely awesome. And speaking of these new media platforms, we actually let some people know before we were going on to shoot this interview that we were going to shoot this interview. So um, we're going to take some questions from some of your fans who are following Black Tree TV via Twitter. Now this one is from Sylvia. Okay, Sylvia. What's Sylvia talking about? She said, do you feel like you've accomplished the goals you set for your career? And if not, what do you still want to accomplish? That's a great question. Um, yes, I've accomplished many of the goals I've set for my career. Um, but you know, like with anything else, once you reach one level, you hit a certain plateau, you create new goals. So I have a lot, I have a lot of other goals and dreams. Um, you know, some have to do with professionally with um, certain films. I want to do certain stories. I have a series of books that are out right now, detective series. One's Casanegra, one's In the Night of the Heat. Um, one objective is to spin those into movies. Um, I've directed my first film last year. I want to direct more films. I want to do a whole lot of stuff. That's, that's why you got to hit me up on Facebook or, or tweet me and we'll keep you posted. Now this one says, do we have, we know you have a chair, you have a charity organization. Do you encourage your kids to get involved in community services or charities? 
Absolutely. You know, Martin Luther King said something great, and that was, we can all be great because we can all serve. It's one of my favorite speeches. It's called the, the drum major instinct. And that, drum, that instinct to be a drum major is to be out front and to be in the limelight, to be in front of the camera, to hold a microphone, to do you. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that instinct to want to do something wonderful, to be great. Um, and if that's what you want to do, the way to do it is to serve other people. That's true greatness, to serve and help other people. Absolutely. Well, great answer. Well, we're here with Blair Underwood, definitely doing his part to serve and to help and bring awareness to a wonderful cause. So you can check him out on Twitter. You can follow him as a, an, a fan on the appreciation page on, face, <laughs> on Facebook and MySpace as well. So um, we thank you for sitting down with us, and we look forward to great things you got going on in the future. Thanks for sitting down with us. All right. Anthony Edom, Black Tree TV. Check us out on Twitter, um, twitter.com forward slash Black Tree TV. All right, we'll talk to you all soon. And no other medicine or promises.